For most homeowners, the master bathroom has become their vital place, their personal space where they can relax and grab a moment all to themselves. If you are thinking about remodeling your bathroom or even just making some major changes, the bathroom vanity is one of the areas that can make a big difference both for decor and functionality. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Home Living Style. There are a lot of vanity designs, so today we are going through these modern bathroom vanity design ideas. If you are interested in this video, then continue to watch the video to very end. But before we start, just hit the like button for YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more update about home decorations and interior design idea. An exceptional vanity design requires careful planning and attention to detail. There are plenty of decisions to be made from the layout and style to the types of sinks and countertops. Set a la layout. Before you decide on colors, finishes and fixtures, you have to know where your vanity is going and how big it's going to be. Many bathrooms features horizontal vanities with one section of cabinetry. These vanities are efficient and take full advantage of available storage and counter space. They also ensure clean lines and a streamlined bath design. Homeowners also may design L-shaped vanities, particularly in master bathrooms. While they don't always maximize space, corners are seldom if efficient. They offer ample leg and arm room, as well as distinct vanity spaces in bigger bathrooms. Unless they are used small bathrooms, L-shaped vanities rarely feel trend. Determine the number of things is another point that you have to think for selecting the vanity. You shall need to find a vanity style that can accommodate the number of things you want. If they had their choices, most homeowners would prefer double sink. Unfortunately, there often a space restriction. Vanities smaller than 60 inches wide usually have only one sink. The sink can in the center, to the right, or to the left. Your sink cabinets can have drawers or standard cabinets though. Vanities are more than 60 inches wide can comfortably accommodate two sinks. However, if one sink is enough, you can use the extra room for additional counter space for your bathroom. Choose this style is another and the next point. Once you find the layout that best suits your bathroom and determine how many things you want, the next step is to decide on the vanity design. Do you prefer traditional cabinet of modern furniture piece and a pedestal sink? If you want a traditional vanity cabinet, there are several factors to consider. Like do you want to a uh, paint or stain? What color do you prefer? What type of door style do you want? Do you want drawers, doors or pull -on? Vanity cabinets don't have to built in. Freestanding vanities are not attached to any walls and can have open shelving of closed cabinets. They also can feature furniture style detail. Another style is a floating vanity which is mounted to the wall and has open space below. This modern bathroom title vanity has open shelving but you can also find pieces with the closed cabinetary option. Repurposing a family hair room such as antique dresser or table stand can add time-tested character to your vanity. You can turn that into a bathroom vanity if you don't need storage space and are seeking a minimalistic design then you can forego cavitary and simply install a wall mounted countertop. If you are buying a pedestal sink or restoring an old piece of furniture you might be able to skip this step. Most other designs including cabinets and repurposed furniture pieces without a top will require some type of countertop. There are are a number of materials available including granite, quartz, marble, laminate, concrete, wood and solid surface. Granite and quartz are popular choices for bathroom countertops. Both are durable, high quality materials with designer's patterns. Granite needs to be sealed every one or two years because it's a porous stone. Softer stones like marble scratch more easily than granite and quartz and have less tolerance for moisture. Wood and laminate don't always mix well with moisture either but they may be more budget friendly than stone. Keep in mind that repurposed furniture species are not always able to bear the weight of stone. Countertops like granite and quartz consult our remodeling expert to get specific recommendations for your furniture pieces. Pick the type of sink. The next step is to determine the type of the sink such as undermount, drop-in, vessel, wall mount. After that, choose the color and materials for your sink whether it is porcelain, natural stone or something else. Undermount sinks are 
mounted below your counters with sporting brackets providing a seamless slope. They are harder to install and usually require a professional. Vessel sinks sit above your counter, a hole for the drain is cut out from the countertop. There's more to clean but vessel sinks give you the option to choose a sink with patterns, designs and custom shape. Drop-in sinks are installed inside a cutout in your countertop. These sinks have lips that rest on top of counter while they are easy to install, dirt and scum can build up in the crazes between the sink and the counter. Fixtures, fixtures and more fixtures. It's time to wrap up your design with fixtures. You may focus most of your attention on your layout and cabinets finishes but you still need to select your cabinet, hardware, faucets, lightning and mirror. Most important, these should be coordinated with the rest of your design and colors. Thanks for watching the video to very end. If you have not subscribed yet to my channel then hit the subscribe button to stay up to date about the latest trends and designs for home decorations. I will meet you very soon in the next video.